Hi. I'm supposed to tell you I'm test subject 13. We appreciate our heart. I just wanted to be taller. Go! Maybe you should try a sport you're more suited to. Like? Bowling? Dancing isn't your whole life. You have school too. But this is important. You've enrolled in a medical trial. This will make me taller for sure. I need you to pretend to be me while I practice dance. Hey, what's up, Jesse? Okay, let's try this again. So we get to run around in a memory like time travelers. Wow. Turn off mom and dad's parental controls. We have pizza and ice cream for dinner. You seem different. Stay back. If this doesn't work, we may never be able to fix mom and dad. What is going on at the school? We have to see if they need help. Every little action can make a difference. It's really weird. We're way past weird. We appreciate our help. If I understand correctly, this series, you know, not to go into the um, diversity aspect of the casting, you know, um, Wook Hollywood is Wook Hollywood, but, you know, the concept of the plot and the story. So basically, these are, you know, these are actually based upon a kid, you know, who um, he's not good enough, and then his solution is to go. Um, to use basically technology to create an augmented um, robot hybrid cloned version of himself that he can control, you know, to live his life for him. And it fits into what certain people are planning for the future when it comes to the metaverse. When you think about the metaverse and different versions of it, you see, it's a world where people basically forgo with the real world. And they live in their imaginations. And of course, when you look at the way things are today, we spend more time in our phone than, you know, for most people, they spend so much time with their phone than with human interactions, you know, one-on-one -on -one human interactions. Now, the interactions with other human beings is done through a computer that and through the internet, which is monetized via whatever service. You know, whether you are using a service to communicate with somebody for free or not, it is still monetized. You know, Facebook, you may be able to use Facebook for free, but it's monetized. Facebook is making a lot of money from you using it. You know, you may be able to use Twitter for free or get into people's DM for free, but it is the whole um, system is being monetized. Um, what was natural and unmonitored is now being monitored by several organizations and governmental organizations which are using it to also study your behavior and how to manipulate you you know now we even have ai in uh, emails that complete our sentences for us accurately they know how we talk they know how we speak from you know monitoring and storing the several emails that we get now when we begin to type in something in an email it completes the sentence for us in the way that we ourselves will complete it's not the way someone in another part of the world will complete it you know, they, it understands the differences between culture and the person individually. You know, the, the, it's, it's that advanced and it just email. Then talk about using it for um, other advances. And of course, with the metaverse, it creates a situation where a lot of people will spend their time in an augmented reality world, making money there that they can use in the real world. And how many people will just sit back at home and spend like six hours? You know, there are people who are sending, especially when money is involved. When you can play video games for 10 hours on Twitch, and be paid as a streamer for doing that you know why get up so somebody's being rewarded with money and fame for sitting down and playing video games but what does that say about the real world and the economy in the real world so you know this concept of selling um reality that is not reality to people is something that is that they are pushing for the kind of future they want to build because that's a world where you can really see how the antichrist will be able to really control people and feel like he's the god of the world because for example when it comes to the metaverse mark zuckerberg is the creator of the metaverse he's the god of the metaverse but of course the antichrist is going to control all metaverses you know because he's not the only one doing that kind of technology but uh, and the 
issue in itself is not the technology. But you have to understand something about technology. When technology moves in a position that it threatens nationality, it, it, it threatens um, nature itself, we need to take a step back. Not all technology is good technology. You know, so um, that is a fact and that's something that um, you should um, think about. But that being said, you know, this um, series, it's just basically propaganda and programming. And this is why I emphasize the importance of Christians, you know. We must start our own um, platforms. We must start our own Hollywood. But the money that we have, you know, rather than, you know, the money that is spent on whatever investment, you know, you are investing in the stock market, basically investing in, in other companies that gather together and are loyal to the LGBT and are loyal to a bunch of people who will fight against Christianity. Rather than putting your money in the stock market to full, to, to um, push those companies, we as Christians, we must unite, start our own cluster of companies. You know, the, the why, one of the reasons why the LGBT or the Jews are basically able to control so much and to control the narrative is because they own the TV stations, they own the radio stations, they own the internet, they own the social media, they own the politicians because they are the ones that lobby and pay for those politicians to be put in those positions. We as Christians, we must start doing that. Those who believe in righteousness and believe in love, we must do that. We have the money now. We are allowed to have money now. So we must be at the forefront. You must be the ones who use our money to put politicians who represent us there. You must be the ones that... um make sure that those who have voted in you know are those who represent us and our views and our values we must create that world otherwise we are going to be um basically um in soup we are signing up for the future persecution that the bible tells us you know will come but the kind of persecution and the amount of persecution that um, we see before the rapture is up to us you know so it is what it is. Thank you. Remember to check out Alfred.vip and remember to subscribe to plus.alfred.vip, you know, so you can get access to exclusive videos, comics, video games, you know, um, novels, bedtime stories, and much more. God bless you. Say this prayer or the belief you have not given your heart to Jesus Christ. Dear God, I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came, died, and was raised from the dead to save me. I confess him, Lord, over my life and ask you to give me your Holy Spirit to live within me. I receive your spirit by faith and thank you for I am now born again. In Jesus' name, amen. If you just prayed that prayer, congratulations. You are now a Christian. Go to alfred.vip and click the salvation prayer link in the main menu to get resources that will help you with your work with God. God bless you.